mem cpy is used to copy the memory of source pointer to the destination pointer and this is the fastest memory copy or copy why it is like that so we'll discuss that watch the video till the end so syntax is you will give from pointer and you will give to pointer see this from pointer is a constant so that you will not end up accidentally modifying this so it is taken as constant and to pointer is taken and this third is like how many bytes you want to copy notice this this is number of bytes this is not number of array elements or something like that okay so for example we have string 1 string 2 and if i want to mem copy string 1 to string 2 so string 1 is this and string 2 is this so if i want to copy it should look something like this if i will copy this it will be like cpp and then this s will be replaced with space i mean null why like that we'll check that basically as this is mem copy and if you see the size of this is 4 okay so the last one is null so that will also get copied here so let's quickly see what is the result so if i will compile this gcc mem copy it compiled and after executing this it says str2 before mem copy was nuts channel and then str2 after mem copy is just cpp what what is this what happened to this one because if this is your first and this is your second then it will copy like this it will replace this with this this with this and this with this and i told you right there is one null available here so that null will also get copied here so actually it should look something like this cpp and that null thing here and then we have this space and then channel but as this printf is reading it is reading this this and this and then it is hitting null then it feels that there is nothing out after this that's why it is not printing anything it's just printing cpp let's see that yeah so if we will put that in a for loop and try to find exactly like what it is printing we can get that so i have written this for loop for you we are going from zero to size of this string 2 which is like this full after replacing that i mean after mem copy and let's compile this and execute it see it is printing cpp and then channel now let's talk about some important points here like the corner cases and stuff like that so let's suppose your from is like very big and your two is small i mean here we had reverse right i wanted to copy this to this so the size of this string 2 is quite enough to accommodate this cpp but what if we do reverse in that case it won't work and the behavior is undefined okay i mean you can always tell like how many bytes i want to copy from here then it is okay if you are within the boundary if you crosses the boundary then behavior is undefined first thing is that second thing is as this is fastest now i'm talking about that point what i discussed in the beginning as i told this is the fastest available copy you can use so why it is fastest because other copy like str copy or mem move basically does extra operations just for the sake of correctness and stuff but this is like blind it takes the pointer and just run after that it it doesn't check anything that something might go wrong if i copy from here to there but those functions do some checking that's why they are slower so if you know your stuff like what you are doing then you should go for mem copy it is the fastest one now let's talk about a uh, little detailed things here so let's say i have a class a okay and this is like an object a here and what if i want to copy this object into some another object so that is also possible and that can, could be done i'm not saying that you should always do that but if you can do it then you should do that and i won't go there like when you can do and when you can't do that because that's like a different story but in short if you have pointers in your class like data members then probably you should avoid that if you don't have anything like that then there can be some memory alignment issue but if you tackle memory alignment issue then you should go for mem copy for the user defined objects also so let's suppose this class basically have a uh, integer x and uh, maybe comma y so the size of this class becomes like 8 if integer is 4 byte then in that case like this was easy right you can see like c is copies here and then p and p but then what about this guy 
actually it copies bytes it doesn't copy one one array elements i told you that in the beginning right like mem copy takes the destination and source and convert them into unsigned array i mean unsigned character array and then it copies that's how it copies byte by byte that's why the third argument is number of byte it's not number of elements from the array so that's why you can copy one object precisely to the destination of you should give it a try i mean if you you are doing some project and that project is like heavily loaded with the object copy and stuff like that then maybe this can speed up your process so thanks for watching guys if you want to help me in some way then you can share this video or maybe you can hit a like button but only do that if you like the video otherwise it's okay thanks for watching guys bye bye take care